Dozzy, how does it feel to be in the Youth Alliance Cup final? I think it's a, it's great for the lads. I think the lads have, um, have earned it over over the um, the course of the tournament. They've had to work hard and uh, get results. And today was no different. I thought today we thought our performance was excellent today, defending and attacking. Um, first half we started really sharp and. In the first half we had loads of corners and we had two or three great opportunities to go into the half one, maybe 2-0 up. We never took them but uh, at half time we built on it within a couple of minutes of the second half. We were 1-0 up and we knew that having been 1-0 up we'll get chances on a counter attack but they commit more bodies forward and credit to the whole team. They defended really well as a team, made it hard for them and I think they only had one great chance on goal which Charlie was um, equal to and he was uh, pulled a great save off for us. And the winning goal, what what a goal by Ethan Jones and we know that he's got that in his locker. Yeah, it was great at half time we were saying to Ethan that we, we were putting a few good crosses in in the first half and our strikers weren't getting across the front of defenders and to be fair to Ethan he took the information on at half time and within like I say two or three minutes a good cross comes in from Jack Butts and Ethan gets across his man, gets it down, he finishes excellently. And a clean sheet at the end of it, 10 minutes of added time at the end, so they've, they've done more than 90 minutes to keep a clean sheet. Yeah. I think with our with our defenders how they are, they've got a massive desire to want to keep a clean sheet and the desire and focus gets them through it. I think that's four clean sheets in our last six games um, and it just shows you how much they want to keep a clean sheet and it's vital that you're able to do that because in games you're not going to score two or three goals every game. So it always gives you a good platform to build on when you, you know you've got a defensive unit who are always willing to put the bodies on the line, good in the box. And, in the last 10 minutes there was crosses raining in and to be fair to our lads they never really looked under pressure, they dealt with everything and Charlie himself dealt with a couple of crosses and just relieved a little bit of pressure towards the end. How good now do you think it will be that experience of playing in a, a cup final? I think it's great, I think the lads who were with us uh, last year so our current second years we had Telford in the final of the, the senior cup last year and it was a great experience and um, we earned the the right to go and win the trophy at that and this is another experience for them and I think if whoever it is we get in the final I think it's going to be a, a mental test more than anything else and we look forward to seeing who that's going to be and whoever it is it'll be a great occasion. Yeah just plenty of games before then what, what, will you have to do anything just to keep their minds on the league games now? Oh, we've got um, including reserve team games which a lot of our lads play and we play Saturday Tuesday now right till the end of the season so um, We've got 18 outfield players in the squad, and including 16s as well. They'll all get game time, and we'll all, we'll be rotating the sides as, as much as we can and giving everyone opportunity. But um, I'm com I'm comfortable with whatever lads we put out. We'll get results.